Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are doing another cop or flop video. So basically if you guys are new to the channel you'll notice that I do a lot of resale prediction videos but whenever it's not certain if a sneaker is going to resell I actually do a cop or flop video in which I give you guys my opinion if a shoe will resell. Now if you guys want a sneaker for personal obviously go ahead and buy it if you like the colorway. This is just for reselling purposes. I'm trying to help people out if they should go after a sneaker or not. Now today's video is going to be about the Jordan 1 Zoom Zen Green. Basically this is a Jordan 1 infused with Zoom technology in a Zen Green colorway. The Zoom technology being incorporated on the Jordan 1 is a relatively new concept. We have seen two colorways come out previously. I think it's the White Racer Blue and the Fearless colorways. Now the White Racer Blue has done well over time because of the similarity to the Dior Jordan 1s while the Fearless Zoom sneaker has not done well at all in terms of resale prices. So the Zen Green is the third colorway of the Jordan 1 Zooms. So if you guys aren't familiar with how the shoe looks, I'm going to give you guys a b-roll of this right now. So please take a look at that and we'll get right into the video. <laughs> saw the pictures of the Jordan 1 zooms and green let's talk about the sneaker itself now this sneaker is set to drop on Friday August 14th for a retail price of $175 it is officially loaded on the Nike sneakers app that might get postponed I mean you never really know but as of right now it is set for August 14th again $175 they do add an extra $5 to the regular Jordan 1 retail because they are using that zoom technology with the sneaker and with that said do I think these are a cop or a flop I do have to lean towards a flop now that doesn't mean they're not going to sell out but what I mean by that is that they're not going to be profitable so after $175 retail and in most states you pay taxes so you're going to be about $185 to $190 now of course the white racer blue colorway that came out of the Zoom Jordan 1s is doing well right now because it is very similar to the Dior Jordan 1s. People are always making that comparison and ever since you know that trend really started the prices really went up. If you guys aren't familiar with that shoe and the resale prices of it I am going to show you guys really quick so you get a better understanding of it. So guys here is the white racer blue Zoom Jordan 1. As you guys can see right now they are going for a lot of money but the thing you want to look at you want to go to view all sales and I click the sale price and then this is when it first released so let me show you guys an up close look at that so when they first dropped they started at 195 this is for a size 10 so just showing guys on a size 10 and they gradually went up over time now that again has a lot to do with the Dior similarity but as you guys could see all this time I'm scrolling we're still at 205 so this is a long time for it to only go up by ten dollars basically and if we look at the other Zoom sneaker, this is the Fearless colorway. Of course, we have like a basically a predominantly black colorway for the most part. Now that one is right now going for barely above retail at 208 for the size 10. Now, as I mentioned, there are sizes that do go for a lot. So as you guys can see, the size seven and the size seven and a half are profitable. Now let's look at early prices on these Zoom green. So as you guys can see right now, a week before the release, they are going for about 233. Is the lowest ask and, and then if we take a look once again you'll see the full size breakdown right there so again there isn't going to be that much profit to be made on these already from the early sales we can you know basically tell from that i think they'll resell for somewhere between 190 to 210 maybe sizes seven and seven and a half might go for around 225 to 230 something around that so seven and seven and a half you can make a little bit of profit on especially if you're in a state that doesn't have a sales tax then you can make you know 20 to 30 dollars off that maybe a little bit more but for the most part the regular sizes you know from eight up i don't think are worth going after also you have to consider even if you could make like a 10 to 20 dollar profit is that really worth putting 175 dollars into of course there are way better sneakers you could invest that money into even on the resale market like the japan's that just dropped you could pay resale for those once people have them in hand and hold on to those and those will likely get you more of a profit. 
than putting that money into these Zen greens. So let's just sum it up real quick. I don't think this is a good investment sneaker right now or long term. I really don't recommend getting it, except if you get a size seven or a seven and a half, I think that might be a better long term hold. As far as personal, I think it's a nice sneaker. So if you do like it personally, then go ahead and cop it. You really can't go wrong with it. Hopefully this helps you out if you were planning on buying this for resale purposes or if you want it personally. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and once again, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.